Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosell. This is my technical, technically oriented uh, YouTube account. So I just want to make this a quick video. I assume, you know, a lot of people use Google Alerts. I've been using it for many years. For those who uh, don't know the URL, it's google.com slash alerts. And most people, I'm assuming, will just set up their alerts and get this in their inbox and kind of not touch Google Alerts much. Uh, beyond that but there's actually a couple of really really useful features for people involved in communications and media monitoring that i personally only uh figured out recently so i thought i'd make a quick video about this the first one is uh you can change the delivery time of your google alerts as a whole by google.com slash alerts and you can just change this to whenever suits you can also get all your alerts in a single email that by clicking on digest and uh, that will just aggregate all the alerts. But here's the cool feature I wanted to show people about. So let's go on to one of my keywords, uh, impact investing. If you click on the alert keyword, you get this searchable. See, I can go back to January 2nd. So the thing about Google alerts that I find annoying is that they kind of clog up your inbox. Um, but what you can do is just direct them to some you know, perhaps a dedicated email or a Google group, and then just go into your Google Alerts page. And look, I'm scrolling through January 2nd. You can either just flick through the dates up here by clicking on the arrows, or you can just keep scrolling down and you, you are going to be getting the alerts for each page. So if you've set up a Google Alert that you're monitoring and you missed an email or you want to just kind of get, let's say, a week or a month retrospective for that keyword, without what without needing to go back through all those individual emails this is a super useful little trick in my opinion to know and i thought i'd pass it on i hope that's been helpful for anyone else working in pr and communications uh to make better use of google alerts thanks for watching if you want to get more of these videos on youtube do consider dropping in with a subscription thank you a lot have a good day